First, fast, accurate. With Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt, you're watching WSBT 22 News at 6. Well, new at 6, it's an idea from volunteers to improve a specific area in South Bend. Now the city wants to commit your taxpayer dollars to help. WSBT 22's Kelly Stopsinski is looking into this, and Kelly, we're specifically talking about the city's southeast side. Jennifer, we're talking about this area right in here. So to give you an idea of what we're talking about, obviously you can see downtown South Bend is here, Ivy Tech is here, Erskine Golf Course down here. Now the plan is to set up a master plan to improve the area bordered by Sample, Miami, Ewing, and Michigan streets for the future. Pastor Ricardo Taylor does not just talk the talk. There's open lots, there's abandoned homes, there's burnt garages, burnt houses, and they're just sitting there. That's not a neighborhood, and that should not be acceptable. About a year ago, he gathered a handful of people who live and work on the city's southeast side, where he's pastored a church for the last 16 years. I think in every city you have a, a time when um, things, economics change, and, and different areas of town die. For a long time, this side of town has been neglected. In that way. The group called itself 466 Works. It recently established a nonprofit status because the people in it want to make their side of town better. From the rundown neighborhoods to the tired Michigan and Miami street corridors. This is the gateway to the city. You come in, whenever you come into South Bend, you come down this side of town. And this speaks about the character of our city. And so our goal is to, is, is really to bring this, bring life back. That probably help a lot. Luke Hirschberger is working to restore two homes in that area and eventually wants to move into this one. Hearing about a plan to make the neighborhood safer and better is welcome news. It would be kind of nice, you know, something, a little park or new alleyways or whatever, repave the streets. It would be nice, actually. As for Pastor Taylor, it's, it most definitely worth, worth it. He's ready for the city to invest in ideas and changes to send a message that this side of town matters. So tomorrow, 466 Works and a city planner they're working with will go before South Bend's Redevelopment Commission and ask for just over 37,000 TIF dollars to hire a Chicago consulting firm. That firm would help the community and the city put together a master plan for the southeast side. If you want to be a part of this and they want to hear from people who live in this area, I'm going to put contact information on our website very shortly for the city planner in charge of the project. She wants to hear from you. Rick. Kelly.